Considered one of the greatest modern American painters, Jackson Pollock became internationally famous for his unique drip and splash painting technique. Yet his paintings weren't considered that precious. It wasn't until after his untimely death in 1956 that the prices of Pollock's abstract paintings began to soar. Did this artist grow famous because he died so young? Or was it because of the continued support of Lee Krasner, his wife? I cannot think of an estate that was handled in a more brilliant way than was Jackson Pollock's by Lee Krasner. It was extraordinary. She was the one responsible for getting Sidney Janis, the dealer, to hold back certain paintings to get the price up on other paintings. And she really did direct everything that happened with that estate. It's remarkable. This was Lee. Amazing. Krasner understood the value of Pollock's paintings because she was an artist herself. While Pollock's style was expressionistic and freeform, Krasner drew inspiration from other modern painters, such as Pablo Picasso and Henri Matisse. When she saw Pollock's painting, Birth, she was suddenly moved and introduced him to her teacher, the famous Hans Hoffmann. When I brought Hoffmann up to meet Pollock for the first time, because I thought, you know, here's someone that would certainly understand the work. Hoffman says, you are very talented. You should join my class. Pollock and Krasner began dating, and it was clear that they influenced and inspired one another. Krasner's 1946 painting, Promenade, is a stiff depiction of dancers. One year later, Pollock depicts the same dancers in his piece, Summertime, but in a more abstract, lively way. In 1944, the couple married and moved from New York City to Long Island. We bought the house and, and it became a permanent residence, not a summer rental, and more and more people came out. Then we got the barn cleared out and moved over. He took the barn to work in and I took the room upstairs that he had been working in. It was rough. The move to the country allowed Pollock to truly concentrate on his artwork. As a result, he produced a steady stream of phenomenal paintings in just a few short years. Krasner introduced Pollock to various art critics and distributors, instantly bringing him fame. In supporting her husband, Krasner was neglected for her own talents. One critic remarked that Krasner's work was a wife's attempt to tidy up her husband's style. Many others didn't even know she painted at all. It wasn't until their marriage began to crumble that Krasner gained more respect as an artist. The fame had a damaging effect on Pollock. He began drinking heavily and started dating a younger woman, Ruth Kligman. Krasner threw herself passionately into her own work, cutting up Pollock's rejected paintings for her collages. While Krasner visited Europe for the first time in 1956, Pollock died tragically in a drunk driving accident. Moving into his former studio, Krasner painted Prophecy, which was later regarded as her most powerful piece of art. When asked about Jackson Pollock, Lee Krasner replied that his success allowed her the freedom to be unpredictable in her paintings. A blessing that Pollock never really believed he had. <laughs>